So one of the things that we're trying to find with these projects are buffering strategies. Specifically regarding the tech industries, we're trying to see how is it the things that the tech industry can do can change the relationship between the conversations that the abusers have with the children uh, can be reduced. So at the end of the project, we're going to try to give the industry specific strategies or ideas for the things that they can implement to re reduce the risk of children. One of the main purposes of our project is to find buffering strategies. That means things that can help reduce the risk of the conversations that take place between aggressors and children. So by giving the industry specific strategies of the things they can do or they can implement to prevent and reduce the risk, we are going to help the Latin American context because a lot of the things that happen um, are understood in other contexts in which the language is English, but in the Latin American context, the industry doesn't really know uh, what are the things that they can do to help reduce the risk. So the first thing that we need to understand is what are buffers. Buffers are things that change relationships. In the case of our project, we are studying the relationship between the aggressors and the children and the conversations that take place between them. So for us, the idea is to be able at the end to give parents and industry buffering strategies things that they can do to change their relationship. We're hoping that by using artificial intelligence strategies, uh, we can tell parents um, if it's better to spend more time with children when they are online versus giving them uh, some limited time to be online. So we're trying to see if in, La if in the Latin American context that works or not. What is really surprising is that there is not a lot of work in Latin America. There's a big understanding of this issue in other contexts of the world, either Europe or Africa or even in Asia. But in Latin America, where we speak Spanish, there's not a lot of information. So that actually motivates us a lot because we don't understand what is going on. We need to a better understanding of what are the conversations, where are the risks for the Latin American children. Maybe they're the same ones for the children in other parts of the world but it's really important to understand what is going on in Spanish and what is going on in the Latin American context. 